So this is going to be my collective haul. I'm combining October and November and just putting it up in one video because I did go to um, Bufferfest and the Somewhere Before Christmas tour. Um, it came to Toronto and I went and I didn't really have a whole lot of cash after that. I was kind of saving up to buy merch and I had just gotten my job so I didn't have a whole lot of free cash. So I'll start off with the things I got in October. I got four movies. I got Sex Tape, Man of Steel, Into the Storm, and Prisoners. Out of the four, Prisoners is my favorite. I'm a huge Jake Gyllenhaal fan. I love him. And you can't go wrong with Hugh Jackman either. And them together, it's just like, it's so good. It's such a good movie. So if you like suspense thrillers, Prisoners is really good. Then I went to the theater and I saw The Accountant. It was a really good movie. I was super impressed with Ben Affleck. And I was pretty impressed with Anna Kendrick too, because she's never really been in that serious of a role. At least I've never found her to be in any really serious roles. So it was really refreshing. It was really good. Then I got tickets, a ticket. I went by myself to um, Buffer Fest. And they give you the um, lanyard, pamphlet. The only reason I went was to meet Julian Solomita and I didn't and I'm really upset about it and it still kind of hurts my soul a little bit to talk about it so I'm not going to but it was still a really fun experience. I met Ali Speed um, and I wanted to go to her event the day before on comedy but my paycheck hadn't come in and she was just so nice. We talked for a couple minutes, I got a picture with her, we laughed and it was great and oh my god she's just such a nice person. And I did get a ticket in October for the Say We Can Fly, it was the Somewhere Before Christmas tour. Um, they came to Toronto, so there's the ticket, and the actual event was on November 3rd, and here's what I got merch-wise. I got Social Repose shorts. These were kind of the only thing I really had my eye on, and the Yalta album. This is a size small. I asked for a medium and he gave me a small, but like, whatever, it's cool. Like, they still fit okay, they're just a little bit snugger than I would like them to be. I still love them. I don't care at all. Like, I love them. And then I got Richie's first album and Yalta. I am in love with Yalta. And then I also discovered Rivers Monroe while I was there and I picked up their album, Smart Girls. This lighting is fading so fast. All right, then November 7th, it was my birthday. Um, my parents came up to visit and my sister came up too. And they brought a couple gifts. So everything came in this really neat supernatural bag it says supernatural join the hunt on the sides and i got a supernatural mug it's one of those heat changing ones and my dad got me an iron maiden t-shirt <laughs> looks like that it's really really big and oversized but i love it and then my mom my mom got me this big huge root sweater this is a medium this is huge. This is like a massive sweater. My sister, God, she's so funny. Um, she got me a toque, Ooh, a big old infinity scarf, and a pair of mittens. Then I went and saw another movie. I don't know where the um, ticket for it went, but I had to go to see Doctor Strange. It was surprisingly good. I didn't know what to expect going into it, and it just blew my mind. We didn't see it in 3D, we just saw it regular, but it was so good. I do really recommend it. I was going into it kind of skeptical because I'm like, okay, it's magic. It's kind of stupid. Like, eh, like I want to see it, but also at the same time, like I don't really have the highest hopes and it blew me out of the water. It was great. Then, oh, I forgot a couple birthday things. I got a mug, another mug. Um, Ellen DeGeneres worked on this one, I guess. Really pretty. One of those, it's like you plug it into the wall in an outlet and you put the wax in the top and then it melts. It's like a candle but without the flame. So this is going to be really nice. I'm excited for that. Then I took a course um, for microdermabrasion, just like a refresher type of course. Um, and while we were there, it was in a beauty store, so I got myself a like a personal wax kit. These are kind of controversial, but like I'm not using it on anyone else. I'm solely using it on myself, so I think it's okay. And like I know what I'm doing. Like I'm t I went to school and I learned how to wax professionally, so I think I can handle myself here. So I got this. That's what it looks like. There's a cord that plugs into the wall. It heats it up, and then the wax is inside. I use it on my arms. I've used quite a bit actually, because it was my first time using one of these, and. You know, it, it did the job. My arms are super soft. The wax in this 
I don't think I'm allergic to it, which is like life-changing for me because my skin gets really irritated and I'm allergic to something in the wax so like I didn't have any itching after this so it was great all right so I think that's everything up until the Sephora VIB sale so I'll start off with samples so perfume samples I got the Derek Lam Derek Lamb I don't know 10 Crosby looking glass um, a lot of the samples that I picked out, they were out of stock of, so that's why I have so many non-cruelty free samples. Then I got Marc Jacobs Decadence, Versace Eros for her, and Gucci Bamboo. Then I got one of the, um, it's like the Juice Beauty, it has the cleanser something, oh, cleanser, serum, and moisturizer. This is their Green Apple line. Also another little Green Apple moisturizer. Tarte SPF 30. Naked Skin in a light, medium, and dark shade. Benefit Professional, I already know I'm not a huge fan of this. I don't like silicone primers, and honestly, I don't wear like foundation, so I don't know, I'll probably just use it under my eyes, or like if I have a blemish, I'll put the primer on and then like conceal, but I'll use it up, but like I'm not gonna repurchase it. I don't really like it. Then I got my birthday gift. I don't remember picking this out because like Fresh isn't cruelty-free to my standards and neither is Marc Jacobs, so I don't know if I like accidentally added this or what, but it comes with the soy face cleanser, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't think it really does anything. And the rose face mask, which I'm excited to try. I will admit, I'm pretty excited to try it, but I've smelt it and it smells awful. So like, I'm not gonna buy the full size anyways, but I am still kind of excited to try the mask. I love face masks. Then I got one of the Sephora 500 point perks. This is the Murad one. It comes with the eye lift firming treatment the Rapid Collagen Infusion, an AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser, and the Hydrodynamic Moisturizer. Um, I've only tried the cleanser because I did get another like 500 point Murad set. I've only tried the cleanser. It's not my favorite, but like it's really good for traveling. Really excited about the collagen infusion because every time I go on Sephora Canada, it says it doesn't ship to Canada. So, you know, it's nice to have. And then if I do like it and I see it next time I'm in the States, I might pick it up. Then for my actual Sephora products, I'll start it with the ones I'm definitely keeping. Um, I got two Josie Mirren like kits, which okay, everything I've ordered here goes against my like ordering beliefs. Um, like I'm, I don't like to buy sets of minis if I can get those shades in a full size because with Sephora, if you don't like it, you can just return it after 30 days. So. Like, I would just rather, instead of buying the mini, using the whole thing up, and then spending more money on the full size, I'd rather just buy the full size. If I like it, I can keep it, and I don't have to fork out any extra money, and if I don't like it, I can just pain painlessly return it. So, I don't, I don't know. But this is the Nerva, um, the, God, what is this? This is the Glowing Argan Skin Essentials. It comes with the Nirvana Spray, a Pure Argan Oil, 100% Pure Argan Oil, the original the Surreal Skin Finishing Balm, and the um, Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. Now I have the Illuminizer and I know it's too dark so I might give this away, I'm not 100% sure, but I mostly wanted it for the spray because the full size is $48. And I know I can just return it because that's the whole reason I don't like buying these kits, but I don't know, I still wanted to try it and I have no idea why I bought this, I just bought it. It was on my wish list and I wasn't thinking very clearly. So you know what? I might actually end up returning this too. This thing I know is limited edition because I don't think they carry this scent. Like this is a seasonal scent. So this is the Warm Apple Cider Argan Body Collection. It comes with, it comes with a full size sweet apple cider and a mini sweet apple cider body butter and then a sugar scrub in the same scent. Um, I don't think they carry the scent year round. I think it's like a seasonal thing. So that's why I got this. It was 48 Canadian. Then I got the Huda Beauty lip set. I'm returning this because like I said, both of these you can buy full size and I don't really like either of the colors. So I'm going to return that. I might be returning the ABH liquid lipstick in Allison. I swatched it on the back of my hand and it crumbled right off. And I've never had that problem with a liquid lipstick. And like this is my first ABH liquid lip and it's kind of disappointing. It's really discouraging. So I'm going to try it out on my actual face tomorrow, probably at work. And then depending on that, I'll return it this weekend or I'll keep it. This I'm absolutely heartbroken over. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Shop Christmas palette. I didn't know that they had been bought out by Estee Lauder and 
To me, that means they're not cruelty free anymore. I'm not having my money go towards a company that tests on animals. I don't care if the actual brand that I'm buying is cruelty free. If the parent company is not cruelty free, they're not getting a dime from me. So I'm returning this. I'm returning this, not because like, I'm pissed at it or whatever, it's just I don't know why I bought a mini. And I might be returning this and getting a different liquid lipstick from ABH because I haven't tried one. I want one. I want one so bad. So that's everything I got from Sephora. I went to Winners really quick and I got two shirts and two face masks. This is Snoopy. This is a t-shirt. It has like the slits along the back, which I'm not a huge fan of, but whatever. And then it says peanuts on the back. I love it. Love it, super cute. Then I got just like a plain t-shirt. Um, it's really big and slouchy, which is my favorite to wear with leggings. Has a little pocket, v-neck, cute. Then I got two face masks, and according to my five minute research, they're both cruelty free. They don't have any nasty parent company. So this is a Sukin anti-pollution facial mask, oil absorbing, oil balancing, sorry, charcoal mask. Haven't tried it yet probably gonna do it tonight and then I got the ultimate detox face mask from Dirty Works and this face mask was ten dollars this one was seven and again I haven't tried either of them out so I'm gonna do one of these tonight because I'm super oily and I want to do a face mask I don't need an excuse I want to do a face mask so I'm quickly gonna wrap this video up I do have a couple more things that I bought for this month I did end up returning every single thing I got from Sephora for the VIB sale, but I did grab a couple things when I went in to return them. I got the ABH Liquid Lipstick in Dusty Rose. There's a swatch right here. I've worn this a couple times and this one doesn't crumble. I found that Allison crumbled really bad, but Dusty Rose is fine, doesn't crumble at all. And then I also bought the, this is the Bite Beauty, this was their holiday Movember lipstick. There it is packaging here's what the color looks like and there's a swatch it's on this side here so I haven't worn this yet I don't know how it wears hopefully it's okay because it's too late to return it but all of the proceeds for this lipstick I believe are going to the all of the proceeds are getting donated to Movember and then I got two samples of the Josie Marin this is their new honey balm honey butter balm so I got two foil packets of those. I'm really excited because I hear that stuff's really good. And I spent 100 points on the Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner from Sunday Riley. This is a 100 point perk. I think I already said that. I haven't used it yet. I'm trying to get through a bunch more samples before I start cracking open into some of the nicer ones that I have. Then the last thing I got, since I am filming this on the last day of the month, this is the last thing I got this month. Came in the mail maybe a couple weeks ago and I just haven't had time to sit down and really film. But this is a Always Keep Fighting sweater. It says, family always has your back. Always keep fighting. 12. So, because they're on their 12th season of Supernatural. I got it in an extra large. Normally I get a large, but I don't know why I got it in an extra large. But it's really big. It hangs like way below my butt. It's, it's great. It's really warm. It's really fuzzy. And yeah, it's added to the collection. So that was everything I got for October and November. Like I said in the beginning, I'm not going to be combining months like this unless I'm really pressed for time, if I have to work a lot. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.